Okay, we're going to validate the distributive property here by calculating the same problem in two different ways. First by using the order of operations, and then second by using the distributive property. We're going to multiply 11 times the quantity 2 minus 6. Now according to the order of operations, if we have something in parentheses, we should do it before we do multiplication. So in this case, we do the 2 minus 6 first, and we end up with negative 4. So now we have 11 times negative 4. And a negative times a positive gives us a negative answer. And 11 times 4 is 44. Now using the distributive property, 11 times 2 minus 6 means that we'll take the 11 and we'll multiply it by each of the things inside separately. So first we do 11 times 2, and that gives us 22. And then we'll do 11 times negative 6, which gives us a negative 66. So that means we're going to be combining 22 and negative 66, which is negative 44. And we can see that the answer came out the same as it did when we followed the order of operations. Okay, we're going to do some more practice with the distributive property. We're going to have two different problems here. We'll start with the top one. 11 times the quantity 2x plus 6. We're going to distribute the 11 to each of the terms inside the parentheses. So we have 11 times 2x. That gives us 22x. And then we have 11 times positive 6, which gives us positive 66. Now the second problem is a little more complicated. I'm going to do it in two different colors. First we have 2x over 7 times 3y squared. So we're going to distribute this here. We're going to get 2x over 7 times 3y squared over 1. Multiply straight across. That gives us 6xy squared over 7. And then we have the 2x over 7 times negative 11 over xy. So that's going to give us 2 times 11 is 22. x over 7 xy. And since we had a positive times a negative, we ended up with a negative as our fraction. Now, since we have an x on top and an x on the bottom of our second fraction here, we can cancel, simplifying, which gives us our final answer of 6, I'll write it up here, 6xy squared over 7 minus 22 over 7y.